Hey you guys, welcome back to another demo. You guys, today I'm going to show you how to snatch up these Lisa Frank tie-dye maxi neon ink nails with a little bit of black lines. Um, we used the extreme tapered triple X coffin nail. We're going to do that on the thumb and maxi ink set volume neon and then i use for the black black painting gel and the hot pink vegan liner brush so let's dive right into it you guys because sana is ready to take over I'm ready for my phone she's ready to take over the strip club with these yes. sunday school nails so i already etched the nail applied one coat of nail prep one coat of primer and now base gel go in apply a nice amount okay okay the guy, the guy from South Park. Okay. I'm just going to add a little bit more to the center of her nail because her nail is a little bit more on the flat side. Sarah has flat. The only flat thing I have. <laughs> the only flat thing on Everything this body. Yeah. I put a little bit more in the middle so that way it helps build up the apex. And we're just going to cure it for about... Usually I would cure it for about um, 30 seconds to a minute. For the video, we're going to do a little bit less just for demonstration purposes only. And then I'm going to take primer, etch the inside of the one, two, three, go. And you guys, some really cool news is um, by 2021, all of our one, two, three, go nails, including the shapes that are not available yet, and the shapes that you currently know and love, and the etched. styles, all of them will come pre-etched by 2021. So stay tuned for that. We still got a while, but they will all be pre-etched. And that just saves you so much time and money and effort. It just makes it even faster. Yes, I got my press on gel ready too. It'll be a while, but you know that time is going by so quick. It does. Can you believe we're already in July? Yes, before you know it, we'll be 2021. So now a little bit of press on gel over the entire nail. And then press on gel on the inside of the one, two, three, go. And when you're applying the extreme triple X shape, tapered stiletto or tapered coffin one, two, three, go, which are our newer shapes, make sure you apply a little bit more press on gel in the apex, just so that way it fills in any gap that she might have. And then make sure you got your flash ready. Yes. Line her up. I want to make sure I'm in frame for Hello. this. And press down like so. And freeze. Freeze. For about 10 to 15 seconds. And when you freeze, I like to use a little bit of pressure to make sure I don't get any bubbles. If you get a bubble, squeeze her out. And I like to hold the flashy lamp as close to the nail as possible, okay? Beautiful. And now we're going to bake this for one minute inside of the Dazzling Darling Lamp. But look at that apex, you guys. And bubbles? Not today. No, thank you. Bye-bye. And there's a bubble right there. If you see a bubble, just press and squeeze. Squeeze! There we go. Beautiful. Now she's gone. Bye, bubble. Sayonara. Let's bake it for one minute inside of the bye. Dazzling Darling Lamp. Bye-bye. So, let's take a look at this one, Sarah, so everybody can gawk over this very simple design. Do you guys love it? The, we were the first company on Planet Hollywood to make neon inks, you guys, and they are just everything. Everything. Look at that side view of the one, two, three, go, you guys. Look at that apex and that C curve. She Amazing. came to battle. Yes. The girls! The girls, honey, they came from war, but enocouture.com came to battle. Let's get that shot, that money shot that kids love nowadays. Look at that. Ooh, I can't, you guys. No joke. You did a one. good job with this. Thank you. I like everything. She was else. obsessed as soon as she saw yes, the shape. She was the like, shape. I'm like, oh I my need God. this in my life now. I'm gonna... She was like, this is everything. Is this one done baking? Yes, you can take it out now. Ooh, ooh. Look at that. Do you guys love it? That baby. So I'm going to use my gold tip cutters. I'm going to trim the thumb just a little bit, just the number. And then I'm going to take my fantastic file today and just really gently touch it up. Make sure there's no product on the sides. And then make her nice and square. Beautiful. And that's pretty much all you have to do, actually. It's Wait, done. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now I'm going to blend in the cuticle. Remember, this is an optional step, but I like a really, really blended for fill cuticle. Because I, I personally don't like the press on kind of look. Some people do, some people don't. It just really comes down to personal preference, and there's no right or wrong when it comes to that. It looks more natural. But this looks more like a, like a sculpture nail when you do this. So I'm going in first with the pink diamond cuticle bit. Take your time. Pull the skin back, get that bit right all the way inside. 
and blend. Beautiful. And now I'm going to even further refine it with the unicorn bits. And just really make sure it is blended for fill. And that there's no product stuck to the skin at all. And the incredible thing about our bits, you guys, is that they will not break the skin. Like, they right. will they will blend product down, but they will not break the skin, so you won't have any bleeding cuticles. Bleeding comes Murphy. Oh, I know. And now let's go in. <laughs> went to, you went to the butcher shop. <laughs> with the smoothie buffer. Remove the shine off the entire phalange. around the cuticle too, make sure everything is nice and blended. Beautiful. Let's dust off the nail. And now you can always use white, of course, when you're doing inks because white will give you the most vivid color. I don't have any white on my desk. I don't know where it is. So I'm going to use a really, really pale off blue white. This is BB Ombre number 35. So you can pretty much use any light color as a base on top of inks and it will give you a beautiful effect. So we're going to use this really cool pale blue. Apply, apply, apply. Nice and thin and it doesn't have to be even or perfect or anything like that because all it is is we're creating kind of like a canvas, okay you guys? That's why we want, you know, a bright color so we get a more vivid effect. So we're going to freeze that for about 10 seconds and then we're going to go in with velvet. And velvet is, of course, the ultimate matte gel in the world, you guys. Literally, there, nothing can come for velvet. It is super, super matte. Yes. And it really does leave the nail with a beautiful, stunning matte finish that will not lose chip or doll. But for today's purposes, we're going to use it for ink base. The base for our canvas for our ink. And then we're going to cure this for 30 seconds. So when you're working with Maxine inks, Always shake the bottles. Make sure you close them really well because you don't want to be a complete mess like me. And then you have ink all over your hands and on your work desk. But you can see that the pigments tend to settle at the bottom because there's so much pigment in here. And the pigment is heavy when it's neon. So just give her a good shake. Shake, 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 shake. Shake Sonora. So that way those pigments can be... Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Shake your maxi neon inks. There you go. So that way those pigments can be dispersed. Oh my god, look at it. And look at that, how matte that is. She is, ooh, no joke. Needs a little bit more. Now it, it looks like your careless dog. It looks like peaches. Smooth. Like little baby peaches. And she's such a good dog too, well, for the most part. Yeah, well, she Sometimes has a part. She, No, my dad probably has her, and she loves sleeping. Oh. There you go, beautiful. I must be a dog. Huh. <laughs> I love sleeping too. <laughs> Max is like, I got no time for that. I actually like to sleep on Sunday too on my day off. Oh, yes. Surprisingly, I still get a lot of messages. I'm like, hello, it's Sunday. It's God's day. I need my beauty rest. I need my beauty rest. It's like, go to church and go to sleep. Look at that, you guys. Woo! No joke here. And then some orange. Shake, 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 shake. They have so much pigment on them. So much pigment. It's so like you guys know we can't. We didn't come to play with when it came no. to the neons. If you get a little bit of maxi inks on the skin, it's okay. That will come off with acetone or alcohol. Now neon green. Shake her up really well. This love. That. Ooh, she's like highlighter green. I know. And now nice. some teal. Get your teal, make sure she's closed really well. Shake, 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 shake. Very gently, don't overdo it. That's the biggest mistake that people have when working with inks is that they tend to overdo it, over blend. Let the ink do the work for you, okay? See? And then 
I think that's good. And then I'm gonna use acetone. I personally like to use acetone. Alcohol has water in it, remember? That's why we don't use any of our products with alcohol because alcohol will cause lifting. Because of the water, it will add moisture. When we're doing nails, you want to remove all that moisture so that way everything sticks beautifully. So I'm going to use my 3D brush. You can use the vegan um, 3D brush, or in my case, I'm using the Pink Magic 3D brush. And just really gently tap. If you go in too hard, it will distraught the design, okay? Just really gently, don't overdo it, and keep it light. Keep it light. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Beautiful. And now we can go in with our black liner gel. So, painting gel in black. We have 20 incredible colors. I already put it in my play color palette. She's ready to rock and roll. Get everything out of the way. I'm going to use from the vegan pour pack of liner brushes. I'm going to use the pink one. And then just follow through. And I'm kind of using the outlines of the inks to create just a little bit of abstraction and depth to the design. Over the lines touch, just soften those lines, okay? Look how pretty that is. And that painting gel, smooth. Smooth as my Chinese Crescent dog, Miss yes. Peaches. Huh? And remember, when you're doing this, don't overdo it either, my love. Just keep it simple, okay? Beautiful. I'm gonna freeze this for 10 seconds. 10 segundos. And I'm gonna wipe my brush. Put the cap on hers. And then we're gonna finish with one beautiful coat of shiny gel. And there we have it, you guys. Beautiful. She's ready to take over Bojangles now with this nail. Beautiful. So check it out right now at enocouture.com, the best nail products in the world. And I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in the next demo. Bye, guys.